Hello Duelists, welcome to the Crown Corp channel, my name is Bram and today I have another quick project update for you. It's mainly going to be about multiplayer support, that's going pretty well, but I'd like to start this video off talking about the thing that I'm currently wearing on my head. So as you may have noticed, I'm not wearing my regular glasses, these are actually the Envy Light AR glasses uh, that we'll be using for the Smart Dual Gazer project. So as you may know or may not know, uh, currently the Smart Dual Gazer runs on Android and iOS, but to be able to use both the Smart Dual Gazer and the Smart Dual Disc, you need two phones or run both apps on one phone and both of these things are actually not ideal. Uh, so for the Smart Dual Gazer, we're looking into AR glasses and the Envy Light is the first pair of AR glasses that we're going to look into. You can expect an unboxing video of the Envy Light glasses in the near future on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but they're really awesome. They support things like image tracking, hand tracking, plane detection. They also have a microphone and speakers built in. So yeah, they have a lot of cool features and I can't wait to start experiment with them for the Smart Dual Gazer. But that's a video for another day, now let's talk about multiplayer support. So I'm going to show you some gameplay in the background of the Smart Dual Gazer. First you'll see what the process currently looks like to join a room and start spectating. The way we set it up allows players who are not dueling to spectate as well, which is really nice, it's already baked in. But as you can see the UI and the UX is not very optimal right now, we're still going to improve that. But right now we're focusing on the functionality, just like we're doing with the Smart Dual Gazer. So you can see that I have the Smart Dual Disk open on both an Android phone and my MacBook. So the first field you see in the Smart Dual Gazer is the field of the Android phone. And then the field of the opponent is the field you see on the MacBook. So yeah, while I'm playing cards here, you'll see that the monsters are being summoned, cards are set, spells and traps are activated, all that. So yeah, the, the communication between the Smart Dual Disk and the Smart Dual Gazer actually works pretty well right now. There are however still some issues with the Gazer, it's mostly animations and UI stuff, but the actual multiplayer functionality is already there, which is really nice. The next couple of days we're going to focus on fixing the remaining bugs in the Smart Dual Gazer, do some more testing, and after that is done we'll finally be able to host a closed beta test. But for now there's one more thing that I'd like to talk about, and that is the scaling of the monsters. So I've seen a couple of comments here on YouTube saying that the monster scaling could or should be improved. For example, that the god cards should be ginormous, should be as tall as a skyscraper and all that. Uh, but something I want you to notice is that it's actually possible to, uh, to scale the playmats. And it also scales the monsters that are on the playmats. So yeah, if you make the playmat really, really small, then all the monsters will also be super tiny. If you make the playmat really big, then I think currently, with at the maximum scale, I think monsters like Obelisk the Tormentor will be about as tall as a two-story house, which is already quite big. And as for the scaling of how big one monster should be to another, well, that's something we'll definitely still have to look into. So, for example, I think Kaiba Man is actually a bit bigger than Blue Eyes White Dragon right now, which isn't normal. So yeah, that is still something that we'll have to look into, but we want to focus on the functionality first. So yeah, that was a short demo for the multiplayer support in the Smart Dual Gazer. Uh, something you also have to know is that it's currently only local multiplayer, so people still have to host their own server, but that is also something we're looking into. So the things that we're focusing on right now are uh, fixing the bugs that are still in the, in the Gazer. After that we can do a closed beta test for multiplayer. While the closed beta session is in progress, we'll also focus on, focus on improving the UI and the UX of the Smart Dual Disk and the Smart Dual Gazer. And we'll also look into hosting one or multiple servers so people don't have to hassle with setting up their own server, typing in their IP address and the ports because I, I understand that some people don't trust that, although it's not the IP address that you go online with, it's just a local IP address. But yeah, all that stuff, all that hassle of setting up your own server, we're trying to cut it out and as soon as that is all ready, then we'll probably move on to an open beta. I'm not really sure when that's going to be, I hope to start the closed beta session somewhere in the beginning of August. Uh, and then as for the open beta, well we're looking more towards the end of August or maybe somewhere in September. So yeah, that's a quick update on everything that's been going on with the Smart Dual project, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the next video is probably going to be the unboxing of the Henry Light glasses, so stay tuned for that. 
and that's all I wanted to talk about today. So I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Discord to stay up to date with the latest news and information about the project. Everybody stay safe and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.